There you go. All about the 49ers in these parts, though, as they uh, roll it on in the Rams. A true test That'll coming up test, uh, on Sunday in L.A. That's the sporting line for right now. It is 11 o'clock and time for more news. Frank and Ju. Mark, thank you. Coming up next at 11. I'd lose a freezer full of food, refrigerator full of food. Uh, couldn't cook anything. You'd have to buy all canned food. Bay Area residents brace for the possibility of power shutoffs that could last for days as PG&E issues its largest warning yet. The 11 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2 starts now. 600,000 Californians could have their power shut off first thing Wednesday. Hello again, everyone. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Frank Somerville. The problem is bone dry red, uh, vegetation and some potentially strong winds, a combination that put in parts of the state at high risk for wildfires. Right now, PG&E isn't confirming any outages, but we've been told by police and other officials that parts of Napa County, along with Danville, Orinda, Lafayette, and Moraga, should expect to lose power just after midnight Wednesday morning. PG&E has issued warnings for 29 counties, including seven of the nine Bay Area counties. Only San Francisco and Marin counties are not included in that list. We have live team coverage for you tonight. KTVU's Deborah Villalone is in Santa Rosa with how people there are getting ready. But first, let's go to meteorologist Kyla Grogan with more on the windy conditions we're facing over the next couple of days. Yeah, Julie, it is going to get a little bit difficult starting on Wednesday, going into the overnight on Wednesday night. And that is why the National Weather Service has us under a fire weather watch beginning early in the morning on Wednesday. The reason for that, we're expecting gusty wind could gust upwards of 45 miles per hour. It's going to be a northerly flow. Dry conditions so we're going to have low relative humidity levels that drop into the teens.